Hello, so welcome again to our uh, part 4 of um, Power Apps tutorial. Um, in previous video, we created a edit update screen. Now we will talk about um, how to create a admin admin um, access. So for example, if I access this data table, and then this edit and delete button should be only available on admin admin um, users so for example our my team has so many members uh, it should not be available to all so for the admin this is only ap applicable for admin so i will um, um, demonstrate how to create a admin list so go to your SharePoint list and then create a list list of admin so I created a admin list for training then we will create a um, one single um, one single column Okay, so I will create admin name and then single uh, choose person or group okay and then um, I choose um, work email And then for the title, I will choose default to item. Okay, so if I add new item, it's just I just look for my um, name and then save. And then and then when when the when you created and then we will create a um, formula for the button so i first first we will connect the sharepoint list we created so the data source so we will add it here Add data connectors um, SharePoint and SharePoint then we will copy the URL for the main page and then paste and then I will choose admin list for training because this is the title and then connect okay so this is now the admin so we will now create a simple formula for the button um, just select the edit button and then um, go to the properties for display mode display mode okay so display mode is default to the edit so just cap just write this code um, we'll now um, add the data source the SharePoint list admin list for training okay this is the admin list for training then user that email in this user that email is the current user the one who are using the power apps and then in admin name so this is the column in the uh, in the sharepoint list okay admin name dot user email email Okay, so admin name column dot 
um, the value which is the the email okay so if 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 it's empty if the current user in the SharePoint list is empty then the the button will be disabled then if not it will be editable so let's try and then we will now copy this and then paste it to delete button also so let's go to display mode and then copy that here okay so you see there is a delegation warning so it's okay because admin list for this sharepoint will not increase to 500 so that's okay if 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 it will increase to 500 then just start uh, using the starts with function so i just demo it in my previous um video so let's um play so it's now editable because i have the name here but if i but if i delete this it should be disabled so let's let's refresh so i will refresh and on start and then um, let's just refresh it's now disabled because my name is not in the admin uh, list training so it it it's disabled now so i will add it again Okay, so let's just fresh. It's now available. Then I will now um, create a simple um, additional uh, screen for the status. So we have now add item, data table, and then we will now add a status status okay so what is status so we will now create a um, new screen and then um, status of training Okay, so we'll just now copy the image, reorder, send to back. Okay, um, now we will just insert a label. We'll just now create a title of training. Okay, so I just need to title of training and status status and link link so this is now fine okay okay so um i will just copy again Okay, um, I will insert a HTML text. So 
So this is for the link. If your training has a link. Okay. Okay, so if um, Google okay. just just type it here and then the Google Google just type here Okay, so link, mm, just increase that, okay, okay, so I will just uh, going to bold this and then I will copy again because we have a three training training one training two training three and copy again okay and then I will just name this to training one Training two, then training three. Okay, so the status will be um, ah. so we will just create a formula for that uh, data. Um, label so I will just change this to to power apps training tracker and then EID no it's not EID it's user e, user ID user ID Okay, so we will not use user ID. I will just use the user email. So we'll just use user email that um, user email user email is equals to created by created 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 to created by that email okay and then uh, the training title a training title training title that value is equals to this is equal to label to that two three that text okay so what is the formula um, doing? So we will. This is just a uh, just like a VLOOKUP in Excel. So where we can, uh, if the current user is not on the, if the current user is not entry is no entry here. For the training one, if the training one has no entry for the current user in 
this power up um, it will be uh, not completed so for example if I delete this if I delete this training one so all the training one I will delete all the training one training one okay and then I will just refresh refresh it will now not completed because um, it's empty for the training one and the user has no log on the training tracker it will now show not completed so i will just copy this to here and then i will create i will copy the name of this um, label and then paste it here i'll change it to five and then i will copy again and then paste it here and then i will select this to copy the name and then paste it here okay so there is no training three we will it's not completed because only training two is there and it's created by me okay so that's the status and then the link and then the link Where's the link? Okay, so it's a link for you just um, type this code and then the link and then another code just for the display text. I will just copy this. And okay, so it's working. Pal. Okay, so when I play, there is a link, and then it will go to Google. Okay, that's a simple, um, simple uh, Excel like V lookup for the status. So for the fill, you can just create if um, set the text is equals to not completed, completed, then red else sorry i forget the fill okay i just copied it else this okay so not completed so you, you can just select a a fill depending on the text value okay just so bright uh, okay thank you so that's it for t today's video so uh, next video i will show you more about power up so stay tuned thank you bye bye